You've tried bench pressing. You've tried push-ups. You've even tried to stop smoking. <laughs> but you're still having a hard time getting rid of those man boobs. Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. So what are man boobs? Man boobs are the extra fat that you have in your chest. So it makes it appear as a man has breasts. If that's your thing you're into, go right ahead. Love yourself. I love you. But if you don't want man boobs, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them by what exercises you should be doing, what you should be eating, and I'm going to tell you how long it's going to take to get rid of them. So make sure you watch the video to the end because all this is going to be required to get rid of those man boobs. Now, in order to get rid of man boobs, we need to remove the fat from the chest and make sure that we develop the chest so we can get a nice chisel chest. Now let's talk about the exercises you should be doing in order to build muscle in your chest. Now when it comes to getting rid of man boobs, most men result to doing a bench press. But the bench press has its limitations. And one of the limitations that it has is that you don't get the most amount of contraction when it comes to the chest. Because what happens is when you're pushing up with the bar, a lot of people are doing it wrong. What I mean by doing it wrong is that a lot of people have their shoulders shrugged up, so they're pushing more so off their shoulders than their chest. So what you want to do is making sure that you keep your traps down and then that way you can focus on your chest. So don't think about the number, think about the technique when it comes to your chest. But I highly recommend that you actually use resistance bands to get an even better contraction. Now the reason why you want to use resistance bands to get rid of those man boobs over the bench press is that one, you get a better contraction because when you put your hands out, you can cross them to really squeeze that chest and tear those muscle fibers. And when you tear muscle fibers, they repair and your chest becomes more muscular and more muscularity makes it so that we can remove that body fat when it comes to your chest. Another benefit of the resistance bands over the bench press is that you can hit the chest at different angles. Now you can hit the chest at different angles with a bench press in a more so an incline and going straight forward. And in some cases, if your gym has it available, you can do a decline. But a lot of people don't have that situation. And this is where resistance bands come into place. So you can hit your chest on an upper chest with an incline, the mid and below, because you wanna hit every area of the chest to get rid of those man boobs. A lot of times, if you're only doing the lateral standard portion of the bench press, you're only working out the middle portion of your chest. And right here, right underneath, where those man boobs protrude, you really wanna get the decline press. So when it comes to using resistance bands on the decline, the great thing about it is that you actually get more of a stretch and more of a contraction. In order to develop the muscle, you really got to make sure that you get super wide stretch and a super tight contraction. Now, if you're watching this video and you say, Dave, I don't have any of that. I don't have a gym to go to. I can't afford it. I can't afford your expensive resistance bands. Well, I've got you covered here. What you want to do is push-ups. And I know I said that you don't want to do push-ups. It's how you're doing the push-ups and the way you're doing the push-ups that's important. So when I say how you're doing the push-up, this is one thing that a lot of people do wrong. What they do is they get their arms really wide and they push and they go halfway down and they try to bust out a big number. They keep thinking like, I need to reach a goal of doing 100 push-ups. But that's actually the wrong mentality you need to have to get rid of man boobs. If you're gonna get rid of man boobs, the number doesn't matter, it's the feeling that you get by feeling that mind muscle contraction as you're pushing up and coming down. So what I highly recommend is before you start your push-up, I just want you to put your arms in a position where you're in a tight contraction of your chest. So we're keeping our shoulders down, our traps, and we're coming forward and we're remaining in this contracted state. Because that's the part where you're gonna finish the push-up. So you're already in a contracted state. So now when you get down to the ground, I want you to get on your knees and walk yourself into the point of the push-up and now go down and you wanna come up slowly down and up. Don't try to go fast and use that momentum because you're getting up in the numbers there, but you're not really feeling that chest. 
So pause the video right now and I want you to try that. And right before you try it, make sure you hit that like button. Because if you've got man boobs and we wanna help everybody else not get man boobs, hitting that like button makes it so that other people can see this and we can save the man boobs of the world. Okay, the other part of doing those push-ups is that you wanna do them at different angles. So if you have a chair or some type of bench, go ahead and put your feet up at the top and you're gonna do that same thing by keeping your chest contracted there and you're gonna do a decline push-up. This is really gonna help get that lower portion of it, that really part of that man boob that protrudes. And then from there, go to a standard push-up. And then I want you to finish out with an incline by putting your hands on that bench or that chair and doing the push-ups that way. This makes it so that we can hit all those angles and no equipment required. So now we know what exercises to do. This is the most important part when it comes to getting rid of man boobs. Make sure you listen to this part because you can do all these exercises and you can still have man boobs if you don't do this one single thing. You need to make sure that you're eating the right foods and you're in a calorie deficit. So there's two parts of this equation, the right foods and you're in a calorie deficit. Now, when I say to eating the right foods there, you wanna make sure that you have high protein, fruits and vegetables, and there's a lot of other things you can be doing to accelerate your fat loss. Now, I have a free meal plan in the link in the description below. Make sure you click that so you know exactly what you can be eating to get rid of man boobs. I also have a video attached to that if you're more of a visual learner. Now, I recently did a TikTok that shows you exactly how to get rid of belly fat, but this also applies to man boobs because you can't really target fat loss, you lose it overall. So I gave a guide on the TikTok on how to do it. And so when it comes to that there, you wanna make sure that you're in a calorie deficit. Now, it's hard to determine without any type of equipment of knowing how many calories you're eating. So I highly recommend getting like either a Fitbit, some type of fitness watch, an Apple watch works really well, where you can track your calories, track your steps, something that can measure that so you can know how many you're burning when you're doing your workout. And then you're going to track the type of food that you're eating. Now, I really enjoy an app called MyFitnessPal, and I use it every day to make sure that I'm in a calorie deficit so I can be extremely lean for all you people out there watching these videos. So what I like to do is that I go ahead and I start my workout with my Apple Watch. It's letting me know that I'm doing resistance training. It's tracking my heart rate. I'm huffing and puffing and I'm burning calories. Now that links up with the Fitness Pal app and I look at the app and then I input all my food in the day. Now certain things that are produce, uh, any type of whole foods type of thing, I highly recommend getting a food scale. So that way you can weigh your food so you can know how many calories it is if certain things you're eating like bananas or apples or certain type of grains, nuts or anything like that because you can't really scan the barcode because you're using a lot of different amounts. So you wanna make sure that you have a food scale so you can measure it. Okay, so we know the exercises to do. We know what to eat. Now, how long is this going to take? Now, here is the part that's the most difficult because when it comes to losing body fat, everybody's bodies are different. With that, some people are gonna hold body fat in some areas more than others. The good news is genetically for men, a lot of times it's easier for us to lose body fat in the arms and into the chest. So with that said, there's some hope out there. But if you're saying like, Dave, I've had man boobs for a while. Like, it's not that easy for me. Well, I'm telling you, if you follow measuring your calorie intake, that you're in a deficit every single day, you're gonna slowly shred those man boobs and that nice muscle that's underneath, it's gonna show up. But the key is that you have to remain consistent. Don't veer off. If you're looking in the mirror every single day and you're trying to look and see, are my man boobs gone? It's going to get very frustrating because body fat loss takes time. You have to show up. And I'm gonna be right here with you. So if you wanna know a number, how long will it take? I've seen it for some people get rid of their man boobs for three months, and then some people it takes about six to eight. So you need to stick with it. Stick with making sure that you're monitoring into a calorie deficit. 
I know you're gonna wanna celebrate sometimes, all right? But if you're really serious about losing body fat and making sure that you get a nice chiseled chest and an overall body, you wanna make sure that you're doing this consistently. And I've made it simple for you because I got a workout program. All you have to do is click the link below and I have a day-by-day -day calendar that's gonna show you how to make sure you work out and gain muscle and lose body fat. If you do that and you remain consistent, I promise you, you will lose those band boobs and be very happy with your chest. Now, if you can't afford the workout program, is that something you're not interested in? Well, I got something better for you too. Go ahead and click this link where I show you how to develop your chest to help you get rid of those man boobs. And also this video over here, YouTube says you're gonna really like a lot.